Welcome to Ground TV, the entertainment hub for news, views, reviews, and gossip. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. Welcome back to Ground TV. One Jamaican and two Nicaraguans has been arrested following the seizure of a large quantity of ganja by police in New Forest District in Manchester on Wednesday night. Reports are that about 10 p.m., lawmen were in the area when a premises occupied by the three men was searched. During the operation, the police seized approximately 857 pounds of ganja, 238,000 Jamaican dollars, several lead sheets, and lottery scamming paraphernalia. The illicit drug has an estimated street value of just over $3.4 million, the police said. The identities of the suspects are being withheld pending further investigations. A police corporal on Friday morning returned to the Duane Park St. Andrew home where he allegedly shot and injured his son and estranged wife during a reported domestic dispute two days earlier. Several on-duty police officers also showed up at the house just before 9 a.m. Friday while the corporal, accompanied by another woman, was at the premises. It is unclear why the corporal returned to the house and what prompted the police to also attend to the scene. The law enforcement officers were on the scene for roughly one hour during which they were seen talking to the corporal and separately the wife. After the hour had elapsed, the police corporal, whose licensed firearm was seized by personnel attached to the Independent Commission of Investigations in the on Wednesday, along with the other woman, were allowed to leave the scene in his motor vehicle. The gun will be sent for testing at the government forensic laboratory. Meanwhile, the son... Paul Samuels, a 19-year-old past student of Woolmer's Boys School, remained in hospital in critical condition with gunshot wounds to his chest and abdomen. His mother, who Indicom said was grazed in the leg by a bullet, was treated and released. According to Indicom, reports were that family members in the house were engaged in a verbal dispute which subsequently became physical. During a tussle, the off-duty policeman reported the discharged his private licensed firearm resulting in the injuries to his wife and son. The injured teen was transported by his father to the hospital where he remains. It is understood that he is not speaking but is responding by touching. Indicom said its forensic team processed the scene and a 9mm spent casing was recovered. Indicom said the policeman declined to provide an initial account of the incident at the scene and was served with a notice to visit the commission on Thursday for an interview. It is not yet publicly known whether he did so. Indicom has indicated its intention to interview other family members, those who were reportedly involved in the dispute at the earliest opportunity. Meanwhile, it is asking witnesses to the incident to contact its head office at 876-968-8875 or 876-968-1932 or to send information via WhatsApp at 876-553-5555. The Jamaica Defense Force Corporal who pulled his gun on his wife and shot and injured a policeman after he caught them in a compromising position inside the house they shared in Greater Portmore St. Catherine has been convicted. The soldier 32-year-old Omar Williams was on Thursday found guilty in the gun court on charges of common assault and illegal possession of firearm when he appeared before Justice Bertram Morrison. The wife, after being caught, had reported that William pointed a gun at her during the incident which unfolded on February 19, 2020 and set tongues wagging. William will reappear before Justice Morrison for sentencing on May 17. His bail was extended until that time. Meanwhile, at the end of what was a 10-day trial, Williams, who was accused of shooting the policeman, was freed of charges of shooting with intent and illegal possession of firearm. The court dismissed those offenses following a no-case submission by his attorney, Linton Gordon, who insists that the soldier act in self-defense. Gordon argued that about 11.30 on the night in question, Williams returned home unexpectedly and found the naked policeman standing beside his skimpy-dressed wife in the living room. The soldier then reportedly turned on the light and saw the policeman reaching under a nearby cushion. 
He then approached the policeman, hit the cop in his head and asked him what he was doing. He then saw that there was a gun under the cushion. Gordon told the court that the cop then reached for the weapon and was shot in his shoulder by Williams. The injured cop who initial report said fled the scene in the nude was rushed to hospital and the soldier was later arrested and charged. An Ananda alert has been activated for 17-year-old Ashley Hills of Fortland Road, Discovery Bay in St. Anne, who has been missing since Monday, April 19. She is of brown complexion, slim built and about 183 centimeters six feet tall reports from the discovery bay police are that about 4 30 p.m ashley was last seen leaving a relative's house wearing a burgundy polo dress and a pair of black crocs footwear she has not been heard from since then anyone knowing the whereabouts of ashley hales is being asked to contact the discovery bay police at 876-973-2233 the police 119 emergency number or the nearest police station. 55 year old Carol Buchanan of Gregor Park St. Catherine has been missing since Thursday, April 22nd. She is of dark complexion, slim built, and about 165 centimeters, 5 feet 5 inches tall. Reports from the Caymanas police are that Buchanan was last seen at home wearing a black and white dress. All efforts to locate her has proven futile. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Carol Buchanan is being asked to contact the Caymanas police at 876-988-1719, police 119 emergency number or the nearest police station. Help us to find ward of the state, Shadania Williston, who has been missing since Tuesday, April 20th. 14-year-old Kayla McNeil of Berrydale Road, Waterford, St. Catherine, has been missing since April 22nd, 2021. She is of dark complexion, slim built, and about 5 feet 6 inches tall. Last seen at home in Waterford at approximately 11.30 a.m. wearing a blue top. If anyone have information that can help us find her, contact the Waterford Police at 876-988-1763 or contact the CPFSA at 876-878-2882. The St. Elizabeth police are searching for thieves who broke into the home of a businessman and stole his firearm and 50 rounds of ammunition. It is reported that the thieves removed a safe containing a Glock pistol and the ammunition. The robbery took place on Wednesday in Santa Cruz. Three men who engaged the police in a shootout and high-speed chase in Kilmore Knock, St. Elizabeth, were shot and killed last night. A fourth man is in custody. The police have not yet disclosed the identities of the slain gunmen, but informed that two are believed to be from the White House area of Westmoreland and the other is from a Spanish town St. Catherine address. The police reported that two armed men held up a motorist in the White House area of Westmoreland and stole his Toyota Oxio motor car. They also reportedly robbed him of cash and other valuables before escaping in the stolen vehicle. A report was made to the police and a car fitting the description of the stolen vehicle was seen in a community called Bronte Common which lies on the border of Westmoreland and St. Elizabeth. The police traveled to the location and the car with the men aboard was intercepted along a road. The police reported that the gunmen opened fire on the cops and that the fire was returned. Three men were subsequently found suffering from gunshot wounds. The police report that an illegal gun and the stolen car were seized. A fourth man escaped in bushes. The area was searched and he was later apprehended. Detectives are trying to determine the motive for the fatal shooting of an 18-year-old boy on Balcom Drive, St. Angel. It's reported that the teenager, who has been identified as Patrick Morales, was killed at his house on Tuesday. Several spank shells were found at the scene. Jamaica has recorded more than 400 120 murders since the start of the year. The narcotics police have made another major drug bust. Ganja weighed 1,400 pounds was seized on Thursday in Manchester. About 6.40 p.m., the police were conducting an anti-narcotics operation in Spalling 
when they intercepted a bus. During a search of the vehicle, the police found bags containing 1,379 pounds of compressed ganja, valued at $5.5 million. The driver of the bus was taken into custody.